Keep your distance. A message from Vision Care for a safer tomorrow. Meeting was held at the Presidential Secretariat under the patronage of President Gotabe Rajpaksha this morning to review the progress of the program implemented by the government to control the spread of the COVID-19 virus in the country. At the meeting, Chairman of the Government Medical Officers Association briefed the President on the geographical spread of the virus and the status of measures taken to control it. He stated that the timely action by the government at the beginning of the virus spread was key to the country's ability to control the situation. He added that the foundation of the government's efforts to combat the virus must be based on the recommendations of health, medical, defence and legal experts. It was agreed to intensify the government's efforts to identify and monitor suspected patients along with individuals suspected of having been in contact with them. Meanwhile, the apartment complex in the vicinity of the fire brigade in the Mamul Arus Mavata in Maradana, where the third COVID-19 victim was a resident, was sealed by the police last night. The police department organized special musical events at the Maradana, Maligavatta, Borella and Kirulapana locations in order to raise the spirits of the residents in the area. <laughs> In the meantime, another batch of 286 foreign arrivals who completed their 14-day mandatory quarantine left for their homes in Kandy, Colombo, Dambulla, Kurunagula, Mathra and Jaffna today. This included a batch of 108 individuals who were quarantined at the Minneria Army Infantry Camp. This group includes students, pilgrims and Sri Lankan tourists who arrived from India recently. Meanwhile, another batch of 172 Sri Lankan pilgrims who arrived from India also left for home after completing quarantine at the Iranamadu Air Force camp. The Bogahakumura police, meanwhile, detected a group of individuals who had travelled from Colombo to Gurutalava without having informed authorities. The police and health officials placed the group under 14-day self-quarantine at the three residences where they were housed. Meanwhile, 2,961 detainees in remand custody have been released on bail from the 17th March to date on the recommendation of the special committee appointed by the President. In a media communique, President's Media Division stated that this decision was taken in response to requests made by inmates during an inspection visit of prison's premises carried out by the President recently. Director General of Legal Affairs Harigupta Rohanidira stated in the communique that this special dispensation will apply to inmates who are unable to post bail, those who are unable to adhere to bail conditions, those in prison for minor offences, inmates who have completed the majority of their sentences, and those who have not been charged as yet. Leave Ayush, Karabuniti Dantale Paya, Shakti Mat Dantipalakata.